The eighth is the first of only two par threes on the entire golf course. And at 175 yards, it's a relatively short hole, and he's actually known by that name, short. Now, it's the first opportunity that if you play the first seven holes downwind, of understanding exactly what you're going to be facing when you go into the back nine, because the hole goes in the opposite direction. Now, it's also a great vantage point because we've also got the seventh, the eleventh greens right close by. We've obviously got the eighth hole itself, but we've also got nine and ten coming back in this direction. So it's a really good vantage point if you're ever visiting the home of golf. Now, what I'm going to do today, I've got 175 yards. And I'm just going to hit a slightly lower shot than I normally would, just to ensure it pierces that little bit of wind that we have today and reaches our intended target. So what I'm going to do here is just have a couple of practice swings, but visualize punching the ball out that little bit lower. Now what I'm going to do to ensure that happens is I'm going to put the ball position back, I'm going to put my weight forward, and I'm going to put my hands forward a touch as well. That, of course, takes a little bit of loft off that club face and ensures that it comes out lower than normal. So let's go ahead and play this shot. I can see my target down there. I'm going to take it straight at it. So a nicely struck six iron there. That's come out at least 10 yards lower than it normally would do. And it's given us an opportunity. Let's go down there and see what's happened. St Andrews is famous for its many, many bunkers. And this is a classic example of a bunker that you cannot see from your tee shot that's lying in wait for any errant tee shot. So be sure to check your course planner or ask your caddy if you're using one of the local caddies. And both of those two options will keep you away from these very, very dangerous steep bunkers. Now walking onto the eighth green here, um, I can see my shot has rolled a little bit past the flag. It's about 20 feet away, but again, I'm, I'm delighted with that from 175 yards. So I'm going to take a quick look here at the line. We'll line it up and we'll see if we can hold it for a two because there's nothing more satisfying than getting a two on a par three. So a little bit of break right to left by the look of that. Now, like I said, nothing more satisfying than getting a two on your scorecard. Make sure you understand your yardages, select the right club, and you too can get a two on a par three.